Hi everyone, my name is Robert Linkle, owner of Be Stronger Fitness and of TrainingTheOlderAdult.com. One of the questions that we get uh, from personal trainers all over the world is why and how we train our clients. And I want to address a couple of those things here with you today. First one would be why. Why do we work with older adults? Um, first part is that they are the fastest growing demographic in the fitness industry today. Um, anywhere between 50 and 80 year old clients were living longer and so we have more opportunities to work with these individuals. They have the financial needs uh, to um, invest in themselves. They have the commitment and the drive to want to improve themselves as they age. They want to live a higher quality of life as they age. So the demand is there, the financial mean is there for them, and uh, ideally they're searching for the right professional to help them achieve that goal and, and to uh, feel a, a level of trust. Um, we have bone and joint issues, arthritic and osteoporosis issues uh, that are, are really skyrocketing, especially in the United States, but all over the world. Um, these are all um, components that strength training, mobility, stability, resistance training will um, drastically improve. So we see these issues are, as a, a target for us to, to help improve. Uh, and then on a, a cognitive component, we have three components to, to training, to movement when we work with a client. The first one is cognitive training, is teaching the client why we're about to do an exercise and why this exercise is beneficial. The second part is the psychomotor component, which is the client actually doing the movement, uh, teaching them through the, they're taking them through the, the steps and teaching them the cues to perform the movement correctly. The third is the affective, uh, emotional trust and, and uh, valued component of merging those two things together, getting the client to understand why and their ability to do it and knowing that what I'm asking them to do in the right programming is the right thing for them to do. So they trust the system, they trust and see the value. So they have a cognitive component, they trust that these psychomotor movements are going to be the best things for them to do, ultimately producing a very good result for them. So these are um, our, our physical components, uh, mental components that our clients are going to work on. It's practice on both ends for them to increase their mind and their body as they train. And the last bit is the activities of daily living, ADLs. Um, we see the client's ability as they age to take care of themselves um, from sitting to standing, walking, toileting, uh, brushing their hair, feeding themselves, all these basic daily movements, but we also want to look at that to the next level, the ADL Plus, uh, which will focus on getting up and down out of chairs, we'll focus on getting up and down uh, from stairs, uh, or up and down those stairs, up and down off the floor, uh, grabbing weights off the ground, placing them overhead, transferring loads or even heavy loads across uh, given distances. So these ADLs and ADL Plus components are areas for us to really focus on with our clients uh, as we start to improve and work with them. Um, on these, these different abilities and, and then we look at why, what process we're going to put the clients through. We know why, but how are we going to go about doing it? And this part can be tricky. This is where most trainers um, start to panic a little bit because they, they don't know what to do with the client. They don't know how to implement it and they don't know if what they're doing is really safe. So we have five components and we have one training modality that we implement with our clients on a daily basis. We have a hinge, we have a row, we have a split stance exercise, we have a pull from overhead or a push from overhead or a raise to overhead, and then we also have a, a loaded carry or a transfer. And as long as we're addressing those five components, we feel like those five pieces are aiding our clients in getting stronger, more mobile, more stable. Those five components, not one of them stands out alone as saying, this is making me better at balance, this is making more, me more stable, this is keeping me from falling down. And we see the rates uh, of death rates and major injury occurrences coming from these falls, that we need to address that. So that's our training modality. All five of these components trained well will funnel into our one modality, which is focused on fall prevention. We can make any exercise a more balanced exercise, a more stable exercise, a more mobile exercise. All of that collectively, however, makes our client more capable of staying on their feet and preventing their falls. To learn more about trainingtheolderadult.com, please visit the website, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Uh, we have live events coming up in the near future. You can find all that information on our website, trainingtheolderadult.com. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us.